Hello my friend, I think this is going to be a really fun video for you and hopefully extremely helpful. So what I've done is I've just taken some footage of the meals that we have eaten throughout this last month and I want to share with you these meal ideas in a way that just gives you an idea of what it looks like to make meals consistently for your family that are from scratch, real ingredients, and really nutritious dinner ideas. I know that when we started on our health journey about four to five years ago, trying to figure out how I was going to change our meals to consist only of like real food, real ingredients was really overwhelming for me and I couldn't quite grasp what that would look like, especially for feeding children. But I am just so pleased that here we are now providing real food dinners for my family is almost effortless and I thought I was maybe adhering to like the 80-20 rule, you know, where 80% of your food was real and then you allow for some splurges. But when I was putting together this video, I realized that I would say we are more like 90-10 or 95-5% and of real food. We have the occasional times where we eat out or there's family gatherings and celebrations. Of course, we allow for the, that leeway but I am just really pleased with how I've transitioned into a lifestyle where our meals are virtually 100% real food and very nutritious. And I have to tell you, even though it was hard work to get here and many, many years of practice and work in the kitchen, figuring out what works for our family, it has been 100% worth it because of how good we feel and how delicious our food tastes and the diversity of taste buds that my kids have. Now, of course, there are foods that they won't eat. There are things that I put on the table that they don't touch. But if I just always make sure that there are things that I know they will eat, we all get fed and I get to expose them to other ingredients and hopefully raise them up in a lifestyle where um, cooking from real food is not a huge deal for them to learn once they're on their own. I know many of you have left me comments and you're in the same kind of journey of making sure your meals and the food you feed your family is as nutritious as possible. So I really hope this video is extremely helpful for you to just look at. Now I didn't actually film me cooking and assembling the meals that I couldn't have fit, you know, a month's worth of meals into a short little video if I was showing the process. So mostly what you're going to see is just the finished plated up meals that we ate for that evening. And I think you'll notice that a lot of the foods we eat aren't actually like recipe type meals. There is definitely some of those and when there is that meal, I will leave the recipes linked in the description for you to check out. But so much of we eat and make is just ingredients. And this particular time where I filmed all these meals was at the height of summer. We had zucchini and lettuce and all sorts of in-season garden delicious pleasures for us to eat from. So that is mostly what you're going to see as we try to eat from our garden as much as possible or from foods that were in season. And I have to say, while I love a good recipe, I actually have a lot more fun in the kitchen when I just gather ingredients, whether it's a meat, um, the veggies, or anything else that we have sitting around. I gather those ingredients and come up with something for them. It's really a lot of fun for me and kind of a creative endeavor. Anyway, let's take a look at this about a month's worth of meals. I will explain to you what it is and then definitely check the description below if you want to check out any recipes. We love grilling burgers in the warmer months and I love to wrap it in lettuce sometimes instead of a bun. So here's a burger with guac and some tomatoes, a side salad, roasted veggies, and grapes. Now we have a ton of lettuce growing in the garden so this month was full of salads. Here's the first one with just a simple grilled chicken salad, some peppers, mandarin oranges, carrots, whatever else we could find to top it with a yummy citrus dressing that I made. And we love sourdough pizza around here and we have lots of green beans so that's a frequent side. I love to cut up some fruit and the hubs and I get a little more fancy with our pizza. This is a plate just chock full of veggies with some zucchini squash that is in abundance, more green beans, a salad, roasted potatoes, and I made some sourdough rolls. And I have to tell you, fresh green beans from the garden, 
sauteed zucchini. There's just nothing better. We also eat baked potatoes a lot and of course more zucchini showed up. Watermelon is in season and I love to grab mint from the garden and some cucumbers and mix it together for a quick little salad. We throw sauerkraut on top. I would put chive blossoms on my baked potato. It was delicious. This dinner was kind of random. I had some purple cabbage so I made some purple cabbage salsa. It was delicious. And then we just had a salad. I like to put tofu in the air fryer, quite delicious, and then pull out whatever veggies we have to top the salad with. Another way to use up all this lettuce we have in the garden is with just some yummy lettuce wraps. So it's kind of like taco toppings or whatever you can find and um, fry up some burger and then you just wrap it into the lettuce. My kids actually love these and I think they are so delicious. We had some sourdough bread on the side and it was so yummy. I tried this new recipe I ran into. It was like a mango fried rice. So good. And of course more sauteed zucchini <laughs> to throw on the side. More sourdough pizza. Of course the kids like it pretty basic, but it is a great way to use up any leftover veggies that you have going bad in the fridge. Kevin and I will just saute them up and put them over a pizza. It's so good. Here we have a yummy butternut squash soup that you cook up some brown rice top it on there, and then you kind of layer it with these really interesting blend of flavors. You can add pumpkin seeds, cheese, cilantro. You can see I have blueberries and strawberries in this soup, which is very interesting, I know. Typically I like to put pomegranate seeds on top of this, which is so good, but this is what the stores had, so we tried this mix. It is very interesting, but I gotta tell you, one of my favorites. And it's so great to have some homemade sourdough on hand because a fancy toast mill is just minutes away. I made some pesto from the basil in our garden, topped it off with chive blossoms. This one had figs chopped up, avocados with a tahini layer, um, cream cheese, tomatoes, beets. The kids usually keep it pretty simple, but I love to just throw stuff out on the table and then see what everyone creates. Here's another salad idea where I just grilled up some chicken and did a cilantro lime dressing. More zucchini. We had some leftover rice, so we threw that on the side. So yummy. Another salad idea was I found some fo frozen falafels at Natural Grocers, and so I, we used up the same cilantro dressing, and I just put the falafels in the air fryer and then crumbled them up on the salad. It was so good with a sourdough biscuit and some fruit on the side. We really love this meal. With so many fresh veggies, roasted veggies often get on the dinner table. And this time I made one of my favorite squasho sauces. It's like a nacho sauce, but made with butternut squash. It's so good. I have that recipe in my cookbook or I will link to it online. The kids love to just dip some chips in it as well. So you can pour the sauce on the veggies dip chips in it, um, ground some hamburger however you want <laughs> to serve up this sauce. I love to just throw it on a bunch of roasted veggies. A really fun summer dinner idea that the kids just love is just to assemble a random charcuterie board. Of course you can put on any meat, pepperoni, salami, whatever kind of meat you have, and then I just open up the fridge and pantry and present the foods that we already have that we need to get used up in a beautiful way and it's amazing how they gobble it. Um, we have pesto that I made from the garden, some salsa, leftover squash sauce, I just slice up some cheese, put chips out there, fruit, vegetables, um, any, any kind of sauce you can think of goes on there, any bread that you have. And I like to just lay it all out on the table, no plates or dishes required, and it does not need to look like Pinterest to be delicious. I know your family will love this. And here's yet another chicken taco salad. We had these a lot, but it's so delicious to throw on some corn, tomatoes, sauerkraut, crumbled up chips, all the lettuce from the garden. It's always a good one. And here we have sourdough pizza again, but I wanted to show you that it can look a lot of different ways based on what we have. Sometimes I fry up turkey bacon and put it on the pizza. And again, more fancy toast with just whatever we have in the fridge. Here you can see the sauces I have, tahini, peanut butter, guac, some pesto, any kind of fruit that's in the fridge. And then I like to put out like cinnamon or cocoa nibs or coconut, date nectar sauce, balsamic glaze. You really can get so creative with fancy toast. For this one, I'm going to have to look back and see where I got the recipe, but it was basically rice noodles 
with a whole bunch of yummy stuff on it. I believe an Alfredo sauce, but basically veggies and rice noodles and a sauce and whatever I could find to top it off. So good. And with so much zucchini growing in the garden, I try to present it several different ways. Zoodles is definitely one of our favorites. I pull some of our canned spaghetti sauce, fry up some sausage. We, my sister gave me some veggie burgers. We tried that on top and it was, I thought it was good. The kids did not like it, however. This was another way to use up the zucchini. I made zucchini ribbons and tied it in with spaghetti noodles. These are our whole wheat einkorn noodles. I love them. With a side salad, we have lots of arugula in the garden now. Anyway, this had a nice lemony sauce on it. I will definitely give you the recipe for that that I found. It was so good. And with all the arugula growing, my salad game kind <laughs> of switched to arugula salads. I absolutely love arugula. And we also made turkey burgers this night with some sweet potato fries. For a yummy, easy crunch idea on your salad, I just chop up some nuts, whatever we have, put some pure maple syrup over them in a cast iron skillet, let it kind of fry up and then you take it off and they dry nice and crunchy. It's a, it's a much healthier alternative to croutons. And I have to say, extremely delicious. Well, I hope you have really enjoyed seeing these meals that I've made for my family and I hope it's been encouraging. If you happen to feel a little discouragement, please know that it has taken me years and years and years to get to be the kind of cook that I am today and to really enjoy bringing real food meals to my family. Thank you so much for watching today and please definitely check out my blog for more recipes and ideas for your home and family and kitchen. And I will be back very soon to share more inspiration for the keeper of the home.